What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we have the first snapshot of the 1.19 update 22W11A and this snapshot has a lot of features. So of course we had the experimental snapshot a few weeks ago that featured the deep dark, the ancient cities, and of course the skulk blocks, but now we're actually getting all the other features added into the game. And in this snapshot we actually don't get to see the ancient cities again, but we do get to see the deep dark biome again. So what I've built up right here is a bunch of the new blocks that are coming to the game, but this is actually isn't all the new blocks that are coming to the game. But before we get into those other blocks, let's take a look at the new mob that is coming to the game, which is the frog. The frog is actually super interesting. Not only are there three different variants of it, depending on what biome you are in, but it can also eat other mobs, specifically slimes and magma cubes. Now, it will actually only eat the small versions of both of these mobs, and when it does eat these, it will actually provide drops as well. For slimes, it's just, it's just gonna drop slime balls, which is actually pretty useful. You could definitely make some sort of slime farm with these, but there's also a way more interesting feature when they eat the magma cubes. This is again gonna depend on the type of frog that you have, but as you're seeing here, there are blocks being dropped onto the ground, and this is part of the new frog light. So when a frog eats one of these magma cubes, it's going to drop a frog light, and this is a super cool lighting block, which we saw over in the beginning. There's a green, a yellow, and a purple version of these blocks. All look super nice and will be great for adding new lighting options to your base or other builds. Now, how we actually get these things to spawn is very interesting. It's definitely a very new type of way to get blocks in Minecraft. So I'm going to be very excited to see how exactly people build farms to actually produce these lights and what all we can do with them. Next up, let's talk about the new wood blocks in the game and the new trees. So actually, the trees aren't actually in the game yet, but the propagals that will actually make the mangrove trees will spawn just oak trees right now, which uh, I didn't actually read before I started bone mealing these, so I was pretty shocked when I just got oak trees. But they just haven't added the actual trees into the game yet, but they did give us all the blocks so we can actually check out what these are going to look like and how we can use them for building. So these trees trees are actually really cool. They have roots unlike any other tree that we've seen before and the roots are a super cool block. As you can see, you can see right through these roots and they look really cool. Could definitely make some very cool builds with these. The actual wood types for this build are very red, uh, similar to acacia, but much more red. I think these actually look really cool. I really like the door and trap door for these. I think the texture designs for these are awesome. But of course, we are still a long way from the actual release of this update. So these textures are subject to change, but I think they look very nice. So they're probably not going to get too crazy changes in the future future. Also with this wood we of course have signs, boats, the stripped bark, the wood, all of the variants of this, the stairs, the slabs. I think it all looks super nice so far. I'm really expecting very minimal changes to these texture designs before the final uh, release of this update, but for now I think they all look really cool and definitely it's going to be very fun building with these new blocks. And of course, speaking of new blocks, we have to check out the brand new mud blocks. And there are a few different variants that you're looking at here. There is the packed mud and the mud bricks. And of course, these stairs and walls, as you can see right here. And then as we get up here, right here, we actually have a new mud block. And this is the muddy mangrove roots. So this actually makes a lot of sense. The mangrove roots can fill up with mud. I think that's a really cool feature. The rest of the floor right here is just mud blocks. I just kind of threw this house together so we could see exactly what all these different mud types look like. I think this mud is actually really cool, could definitely do some very interesting things with this. And to give you a little comparison, I'm going to put the roots in between these two so you can see exactly how these textures all line up. So you can see this mud is basically just jammed into these roots, making this really cool looking block. Uh, that gives the mud kind of a texture and also you don't sink down into it like on regular mud which is a new feature added as well. When you walk on mud you're going to sink slightly down into it uh, so it's going to make you a little lower than the rest of the floor. So actually acquiring mud in game the first way you're going to be able to get it is by just hitting a water bottle onto a piece of dirt and this is super simple you can do this with literally any piece of dirt but it's good to note that this doesn't actually work on grass. You have to do it on the actual dirt blocks. 
You can also use a dispenser on these blocks to do it as well. So if you're trying to make a lot of mud very fast, you could probably build a piston system that just moves the dirt blocks over and places mud on them to create a bunch of mud all at once. But if you just want to go and dig up some mud, you're going to be able to do that in the brand new mangrove swamp biome, but we don't actually have a look at that new biome yet. But speaking of new biomes, let's talk about the skulk blocks and the deep dark biome. So there are a few different types of skulk blocks. There is the regular skulk block, the skulk catalyst, the skulk vein, and the skulk shrieker. The skulk shrieker is what summons the warden, and the skulk catalyst is what turns XP into the other skulk growth that you're seeing here. So the veins are just kind of laying on top, and the skulk is just uh, these normal blocks that you're seeing spawn out from the skulk catalyst. So this is obviously super interesting to see happen. There's definitely a lot you can do with this. Mumbo Jumbo has shown before that you can use this as an XP storage system uh, to actually store massive amounts of XP and then recharge your pickaxes or whatever you want with it. But I think the fact that it's absorbing souls into it means so much more, especially considering the experimental snapshot that we saw a few weeks ago with the ancient cities and the possible huge portal right in the middle. So this part right here is not from uh, this week's snapshot. This is from an experimental snapshot that introduced the ancient cities and the deep dark, but I thought it was worth showing off in this video as this is part of what's coming in the 1.19 update. There's of course a ton of theories surrounding this structure that's in the center of the ancient cities. A lot of people think it's a portal, but it's also part of the deep dark and this is where we find the warden and the skulk growth. So if this is a portal, it's definitely worth remembering that the skull blocks actually absorb souls and this could mean a lot in terms of a new dimension and things we may find in future updates. But unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. We've shown off pretty much all the new blocks and features of the 1.19 update or snapshot 22w11a. We have much more to come. Hopefully we're getting into a point where we're going to get weekly snapshots, but we really know absolutely nothing yet. I would also really like to mention that in the Bedrock beta today, they introduced the Goat Horn and the Copper Goat Horn. We unfortunately do not have this in Java yet, so I can't really show it off in today's video. But here is a picture uploaded to Twitter by Megaspud, and this shows off the actual look of the Goat Horn and the Copper Goat Horn. Now, it has been stated by King B Dogs on Twitter that these aren't really for any functional use. There are no future plans for them currently. It's more for a soul social use so that players can hear each other from very far away or also just make music and different sounds with them. In the actual notes that they released uh, along with this, it said that these goat horns can make a variety of different sounds. There are three different sounds that the normal ones make. It's going to be randomly based off goats and then also what controls you use. And then the uh, screaming goat is also going to drop a different horn than the regular goat. It's going to have a different sound. So this is going to be very fun. I really can't wait for this to come to Java just to experiment around with these a little bit and see exactly what they can uh, produce. But that is all that we have for you guys today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. Also, there is a link to our Discord channel down below. So if you have any other questions about this snapshot or just want to show off your Minecraft builds, anything of the sort, go ahead and join that Discord down below and you can ask us any questions or show off your builds. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.